Hey. Heads up. Heads up. How you doing, buddy? Go on home now. Hope you didn't run into any trouble getting here. That bridge across the river. Super mutants use it as an ambush point. <laughs> Ever been up in the stands? Let's just say they can afford a lot of clothes. Need new clothes? Should stop by Fallon's basement. Open during the day. Thirsty, Nuka-Cola. Hey there. Need a drink, Nuka-Cola. Hey there. Always a trail to be followed. You shoot people in, sir? My dad says outside the street. Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? I... I didn't make it in time. Kellogg was working with the Institute, and he... He gave them Sean. I've lost him all over again. The Institute. 
Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg? Huh. Man like that would have had access, in and out. But we both know that angle isn't going to work. Because he's dead. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. The mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Romari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick! Gross! Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this... thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we... I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just... Uh-huh. It's you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. While you two are out, I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be here if you need me. <laughs>